welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today as you guys can see and as you guys can tell by the title in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this 13 by 4 lace frontal wig from af sister wig this wig is pre-highlighted pre-plugged and ready to go i did very minimal customization on this wig so i will have everything linked down below for you guys to check out but we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it like i mentioned this wig is from af sister wig so they did send everything in this black box with a blue ribbon on it i think every wig i've ever received from them has came in this box it has their logo on it in gold foiling and inside you'll find your wig with a hairnet on it as well as some tissue paper inside and then they also sent over some goodies which is always nice they sent over some wig caps a little edge brush a hair clip and some bobby pins like i mentioned this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig so you do have a lot of parting space from ear to ear as well as in the center of the wig there are combs inside the wig as well as an adjustable band and adjustable straps in the back of the wig as well so it is very secure and sturdy just based on how the wig was made and there is a pretty predefined middle part as you guys can see and it really looks natural without even having to bleach it so i did not go ahead and bleach this wig i just put some makeup on the inside around the hairline and then especially in the the center where that part was but if you wanted to style this wig in a different way you could either do the bald cap method or put makeup all on the lace on the inside this is the curls that came in the wig and honestly i was debating on adding curls or leaving it but i decided to just leave it and install the wig how it is this wig is pre-plugged but i did want to go ahead and just pluck around the hairline a little bit more i feel like i have a low hairline so i feel like wigs on me can look very wiggy if i don't plug them at all so i went ahead and applied some mousse to kind of just hold back the hair you can just use water but i just went ahead and applied some mousse because i went ahead and styled the wig after as you guys can see with some heat i'm using a curling wand but you can obviously use a hot comb to lay the edges a lot flatter but i went ahead and did that just to again lay the edges back which makes it easier to install the wig it pushes all the hair back around the hairline but it also makes it look more natural so i went ahead and repeated this to the other side of the wig and i also added some volume as you guys can see in the center i feel like this looks again just more natural for me and i prefer this look so this is what it was looking like after i went ahead and just tweezed it a bit more but again i did not bleach the knots and i did not dye this hair this wig is basically ready to go and pre-styled which i really really love and all of af sister wigs hair and wigs are very nice quality which i appreciate their wigs are wigs that i've worn over and over again and can wear over and over again as you guys can see again this is the hair the texture a little bit more of the true color and this isn't 22 inches if you guys were wondering and the hair is nice, thick, soft, and bouncy all throughout from root to end, which I really, really love. So this is just a final look of the hairline and the wig on my wig head before installing for today's install i'm going to be using the wig dealer kit this is everything that comes in the kit they literally give you everything you need they have a melting spray a lace bonding gel which is a little more temporary than the actual extreme hold lace bond which they also include and then you get some tiny little scissors a razor to cut your lace or hair as well as an edge brush and a band so you literally have everything that you need to install your wig which is very very good and very convenient personally i do not like installing my wigs to really take your time but i found that this kit made it super easy so i went ahead and tried the wig on with just my wig cap before going ahead and installing it just to make sure i didn't have to like cut the hairline because sometimes from ear to ear there is way too much lace for me but it actually looked pretty good so i went ahead and just left it sized it up and decided to go ahead and install the wig you guys can obviously see my wig cap behind the lace but you can see how natural the hairline looks and the lace looks as well i'm gonna hide all that with makeup later but i'm going ahead and using the lace bond gel which like i mentioned you only need one layer of this it dries clear it goes on clear and it holds the lace really well but it is more of a temporary hold i found that it dries really quick so you guys will see i'm applying it all around the hairline 
but once I get to actually installing the wig and laying the lace after blow drying it a little bit, it dried a bit quicker on the edges. But I am going ahead and using a blow dryer on cool and just setting everything into place. And as you guys can see, I was a bit messy with the glue because it was clear. And that's why I usually have a hard time with installing my wigs because I'm not the most neat and tedious person per se but this glue makes it really easy to just work around it because again it goes on clear dries clear and you can always just use some alcohol to or water even to kind of like remove it if you need you see how i applied it on the lace too much i'm gonna go ahead and use some alcohol where i need and just kind of put it around the lace before i go in with the razor but here i'm going ahead and just cutting off the ear tabs with the little scissors and then i'm taking the razor and just using a jagged edge to kind of create an irregular cut all around the hairline. Some people like to leave more lace. Some people like to cut close. This is all your personal preference. But definitely using a jagged edge and cutting irregular works a lot better to make it look more natural. I'm taking the extreme glue here. Your ear tabs are usually the first spot to lift. And also like I mentioned these didn't really stick down on the initial glue down with the other gel. Obviously you can go ahead and just apply the other gel and repeat this same method. But I did want to try out everything in this kit. So I am going ahead and using this on the ear tabs and guys after installing this literally the top of my lace lifted after a couple days but the sides stayed intact so I would definitely recommend if you want a strong hold to use the extreme hold lace glue all throughout because it definitely works very very well with the melting spray it melted into the skin and just looks so great so here i'm just cutting my baby hairs you guys know i always do baby hairs but again this is an optional step this is personal preference but i am going ahead and doing my baby hairs first with some mousse before i do my final set with, with the wig dealer melting spray and this is literally the game changer whatever glue you use this on on top will just lock in everything it will melt your lace right into your skin i'm using a rat tail comb to really push everything in before using a blow dryer and then of course i'm gonna set everything with a wig band but literally guys this <laughs> this whole set together worked really well i'll definitely have it linked down below but i extremely love the melting spray because i feel like whichever glue you use the melting spray really locks everything in and and I'm gonna go ahead and let everything set and guys this is the final result this lace melted right into the skin using this wig dealer kit they had everything you needed and this hair is beautiful I did want to go ahead and style this wig but you guys know I like to come on here and show you guys basically what the wig is looking like straight out of the box so if you do go ahead and decide to order it you know what to expect so these are the beautiful body waves that come in the hair straight out of the box and as you guys can see there are skunk highlights on the top of the wig but there are highlights on the bottom layer of the wig as well so the highlights are prominent on the front of the face and the top of the wig but you definitely do get highlights all throughout so if you style the wig in a different way there is highlights throughout the wig which are so beautiful i love that the blonde is very cool toned and a really nice blonde it's not like a honey blonde or a honey brown or a too golden of a blonde it's a very nice blonde color and i absolutely love how this wig looks and feels the hair is so soft i could not stop running my fingers through it and playing with it and again this lace just installed and melted into the skin so well and so easily i will have everything linked down below as always guys so definitely check the description box but again shout out to af sister wigs for a very beautiful wig this is a 13 by 4 pre-plugged lace frontal wig in 22 inches and i absolutely Absolutely love it let me know what you guys think down below like i mentioned every wig that i've ever received from af sister wigs is definitely a very high quality wig they do have so many wigs on their website to choose from so if you don't like this style or color in particular you can check out all of the wigs that they have on their website i have a coupon code linked down below so you guys can save some money as well but yeah you guys can go through my videos as well I've, I've tried a couple different wigs from af sister wigs and they never disappoint it's definitely worth the money worth purchasing it definitely will last you more than a couple of installs and wears even if you apply heat to it and dye it and style it so definitely definitely recommend 
and definitely check them out. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mwah. And if you guys want to see how I styled this wig, straightened it and did this hairstyle, definitely be sure to subscribe because I have a get ready with me on this makeup look and hair look coming very, very soon. Just